I love beacon blocks. Ever since I showed you how to make it, all I want to know now is how to get that perfect color. Hello, and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, OMG Chad. This is a show that'll teach you how to become a Minecraft expert in no time. What happened to the set? Don't worry. It will be back in the next episode. I'm uh, on vacation here in Austin, Texas, so I'm nowhere near my uh, my San Francisco uh, set. So don't worry, it'll be back. This week, I want to talk to you guys about beacons some more. The last tip that we had talked about beacons, but one thing that I skipped over uh, just a little bit, I mentioned that you could do it, but I didn't really say how or or you know, give you a technique on how to do it, uh, was beacon colors. So today, let me show you all the intricacies of changing your beacon different colors. So here we are in a creative world to kind of show off some of the properties of these beacons. So we have a ton of beacons right here to show it off. These are just those tier one beacons before. I'm going to use uh, glass panes, but this can easily be done with glass blocks. Uh, in fact, actually, let me switch to glass blocks just in case, because uh, those are going to be a little bit easier to place down on top of each other. So just you can do it with both. Uh, pretty simple uh, to set a uh, glass on top. Uh, that is what will set your beacon to a new color. but you can actually stack them together and it will change the color of, uh, of the beacon. So you can see that it's a very subtle change, um, but sure enough, that beacon is a slightly different color red than this beacon. Now, this will also work depending on where uh, the effect is in the middle so or, or you know on the on, on top of each other because basically what's happening is this is pure red then it's tinting it orange and it's tinting it orange and then I can tint it back to red just like that and using this method you can uh, create a uh, a more gradient look to, uh, for all of your panes and if I continue on in this fashion kind of what I'm doing right here where this is uh, very red. This is as red as you can get with just a slight amount of uh, orange. And then moving on to even more orange with a little bit of red and moving on to almost exactly uh, orange. You can see that we're creating a really neat gradient effect uh, with our colors. Now I could continue on. In fact, I'm uh, I'm go f going off of uh, a little template here to make sure that I create a full rainbow of colors. Um, but just to kind of show it off in something other than um, when we're over here, we, we can mess around with some other colors as well. So we'll put down some green. You can see that that would mix with red. We'll create this almost weird brown color. Um, and keep going from there. This will also work with uh, white stained clay as well. So if you want to make uh, one of these even lighter than it is, so let's say that's too bright, you can lower it. Um, I headed to the uh, Minecraft wiki to find uh, this, what I'm building right now, or what I was building uh, before, uh, to find this this perfect gradient here and we're about ready to switch from uh, mostly red to mostly orange here with this block right here and you can see that we transitioned perfectly from a full red block to a full orange block and you can get a lot a lot of colors now using this uh, you can see the, see my uh, my color pattern down here uh, goes uh, red orange yellow green blue and uh, purple using what I just did with these uh, from one color to another you can actually use this pattern over and over and over again and what I'm talking about is how it goes red or it goes uh, you know pri you know uh, first color first color, second color, first, 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 second, first, then blank, 
first, second, second, first, first, second, <laughs> first, second, first, second, first, second, second, first, second, 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 and second color. And that way, uh, if I wanted to start to trans uh, transfer this over into, we can put down a few of these orange right here. And if I wanted to start to transfer it into yellow, and that's what these colors uh, show down here, is that red would transfer to purple, yellow, green, blue, and back to purple. I think I said purple for orange. I meant, I meant to say orange. Um, but anyway, using this pattern, uh, it's quite simple to start to create a pretty perfect gradient back into uh, to yellow just by copying that pattern. So once you, uh, if you were to pause the video here and copy that into your world, you would be able to smoothly transition. Where was I? I think it's time for just one. There we go. Uh, smoothly transition from one color to the next, or be able to find, uh, and these are very vibrant colors. You can also, uh, on top of uh, doing um, black or, or white, you can also do black. I was getting ahead of myself there. Um, now, uh, one thing to point out is that they, uh, oh, I thought they went to a certain, nope, they don't. I was lying. Um, perfect, yeah, so you can make this darker as well if, uh, if you want. And that is a little bit about beacon colors in Minecraft. And that about wraps it up. Don't forget to check out last week's episode, or actually it's two weeks ago, because I took a full week off for uh, for Christmas. Um, but uh, check out the last tip that we did where we talked about beacons in detail if you want to know more mechanics about beacons. I'll see you next time on OMG Craft. Make sure you subscribe at youtube.com slash OMG Craft for more episodes or leave a like or a comment down below. See you next time on OMG Craft. Bye.